Hello everybody, it's me, Lucy. I haven't seen you guys in a while here online. But uh, I'm still here. And reason for probably that I haven't posted so much and filmed so much on YouTube. I've been active on Instagram, but not really taking the time. It's because I've made a lot of videos for work lately. So um, all the editing time I had went to go in the movies I had to edit for work. But that's a lot quiet now and uh, I'm excited, excited to make a new video for you guys. Um, just take a look at how beautiful it is here. Walking through the forest in a bit, through the park, uh, going to the gym. Usually I go by bike, but it is not really safe to ride for me. Anyways, um, so what I've been coping with the, lately, except for not having too much time to go to the gym and work out or edit, um, I've been having a back injury, which is now like completely gone. That was the reason why I didn't compete this year in meets, but looks really good and promising right now. Although I have had an injury in my shoulder and in my knee, probably because I got back up way too early. Like um, strength was still okay, but um, I wasn't just used to all the volume and the weights and the movements anymore. Playing a lot with form because of my back injury and probably something went wrong with my knee. Uh, also the fact that I have been doing running, cardio in the summer for two times <laughs> and stopped because I one hated it, two hurt my knee. So probably still an injury from that. But uh, I'm starting up a new program and I want to talk you through that, show you what I do, how I do it. It's a really basic thing that you can adjust in the amount of time you have for your workout. So ideal for when you work busy or just want a really flexible training program. Um, I use this for a lot of my uh, trainees, coaching, coaches, whatever. So I use this for a lot of people I train with, or I make programs for, but really make them super easy and adjustable. Um, I'll show you how I make these. I'll talk you through with a little bit of footage of my gym workout that's to be. And um, hopefully it can help you build your own program. If you want me to help, I ask a small price for a weekly update where you can contact me as much as you want and I'll make your program for you uh, which is really fun to build on together because I start with a basic program and together we find out what works for you um, uh, what you like what you don't like and we'll build it until it's your perfect program and I teach you how to and why I do the things and the changes I make so you can do it by yourself which I think is one of the most important things when you pay someone to do stuff for you that you could do yourself is to learn from it and understand why uh, the things are done the way they are just understand the logic the science behind the lifts so you can progress and help yourself learn from the things that you pay for and it's not business wise, it's probably not the most smart thing, but uh, for me, it's the most important that people learn and grow. And if I can contribute, contrib that's a difficult word for me, okay? If I can contribute, contribute, if I can contribute, I think that was it. Oh, cool. If I can contribute to you learning uh, life skills then I will be happy to do so for a small price because the fulfillment I get from this is way bigger. Plus, I have a job, I earn enough money. So to help give back to the community that helped me a lot is for me the most important uh, thing I can achieve here. So hope you enjoyed this video, glad to be back. And uh, let me know uh, if you like this video by giving me Oh, I hate when I do. Don't, don't do a thumbs up unless you really like this video. Okay, see y'all later. Bye.
walking on my way home. This was a great workout. I was in for an hour and knowing that that was including my workout, um, I feel pretty good. So I did my squats, my bench and my pull-ups. Um, it felt really great. My knee is a little achy still, but it doesn't get worse. I actually think squatting makes it better. Uh, it makes me focus on my form really, really good for my back, for my knees, for everything. So probably it's just good to keep going and when it gets worse, take a step back um, and see how it can be improved or it needs some more rest or something. I always find that working out with um, or interest shouldn't stop you from working out but you should give it the rest needed you should give it the quality and form check needed perhaps that could be the cause of it uh, so do take it seriously but don't just stop working out at all or making an excuse not to go in the gym anymore uh, it makes you feel so much better if you just continue to work out um, I must say even though uh, I lost some strength on squats. It didn't feel bad at all. I think despite my shoulder injury, bench is pretty much the same. I did five times, three reps, uh, 60 kilograms, which went pretty fine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, of course I could have, I could have, or probably would have been a bit stronger if I didn't have an injury, but I'm really happy I'm doing this because I enjoy it and it's a fun way for me to keep in shape. Uh, okay, so, uh, I did my voiceover talking about the uh, video and I hope you guys will have pretty much of the uh, learn a little bit of the uh, voiceover and um, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to stop recording, my hands are free, the battery is almost zero. Uh, so, and I'm going to get back home safely. So I'm not sure why, but people are always introduced into the voiceover. So here I am welcoming you to the voiceover. This is the part where I kind of explain you quickly how I build up my program. I won't go in there really deep because um, that takes up a lot of time. But if you are interested, just ask me questions. Ask me specific questions or ask me to really run through the process of how I create that or maybe some tips uh, or where I got it from. Basically, it's the DUP from Lay Norton. Um, so what I do, I um, basically set up my base of my program, which is uh, the bench, the squat, and the deadlift. That's what it's all about. And <clears throat> uh, I part it up into blocks. So I first go build some muscle in hypertrophy, which is going to be a few weeks. Then I'll build it up into a strength block, which is again going to be a few weeks. And um, I think I took eight weeks. And then I'll be building up into a strength or a peak where you will be actually testing out your strength and building a new program or the same program but with new numbers for it. So that's the setup. And the next thing I do is uh, divide it up into uh, the reps and the sets. And um, each of the exercises have a, a hypertrophy day a strength day and a speed day, except for the deadlift, because too many deadlifts just, um, I don't recover that fast. Maybe some guys do, but usually for girls, they tend to recover a lot less fast. Uh, we also have less hormone, so that could be, or that could be, that is one of the reasons why. Anyway, I like to keep it like this. Uh, so what I do, I divide it into the, the squat and the hypertrophy day is not really high for me. It will be four four sets of six repetitions and my strength days will be five of three and then a little bit of the speed day which will be seven times five where i just kind of it's a bit in between and uh, i really like the diversity of this and that's where the dup stands for the daily underlying periodization and i'll put a link down below because i can't really speak at this moment i'm way too hungry <laughs> to explain no but it's really an in-depth topic. I could 
talk about for hours, but for this uh, video, I'll just go in it shortly. So you see me dividing up the program and just putting in the numbers, taking a look back in the program because I adjusted it along the way to my needs and specific, um, well, the things that I like to do and the numbers I like to train. Some people like to train like four times nine for hypertrophy. Um, it's not necessary, but it should just really look for what works for you. And what works for you is also what you can keep on doing, what you enjoy, not really what your body is capable of, but also what you're mentally capable of. So in this case, uh, I'm recovering from my injury, as you know, as I talked about early in this video. So I'm keeping my squat numbers really low. These are actually about the numbers that I had in 2015, which I'm pretty fine with. Um, I'm not an ego lifter anymore that much. <laughs> So these are fine numbers for me to work with. As long as I stay injury free, I'm really, really happy and I can build up from there. So the thing with these uh, numbers is you have your base for what you need to do in your week. Then I put down some other accessory works that I really like doing and contribute to a, have to a better bench squat and deadlift. I write those down and um, I always do either body weight and just feel how many reps I can do. I, I can really always push myself into accessories. I don't really have a target as long as I can do the sets and repetitions that I figured are at an RP8. Um, so when I have that down, I say like, okay, like pull-ups, I want to do three times a week. And I, so I divide every single accessory, how many times I want to do them. And it's just a check of the box when I did them. And because it's really flexible this way, I just need to do each of them either way. And I always like to do a, a strength and a hypertrophy day and, um, and an accessory. And so I can also do three days of lifting in a week. I could do six days of lifting as long as I just do everything that's on my program. Uh, so for today, session one, I want to do the, uh, the bench. And that will be strength. So it will be 60 kilograms for five sets of three repetition and it will be the squat which I will be doing seven repetitions uh sorry seven sets of five reps yes i had to think really hard <laughs> uh, anyway um so i also did pull ups uh, as you saw but this is really how i like to build it up and uh, figure out every day what i feel like doing it's really simple you should do it give me a question if you want to try it yourself um but for me, this really helps, makes it really good to be flexible. And either if I have a low day, I can switch a strength for a hypertrophy day because that's easier to do. And uh, this makes it really easy for me to continue doing. I hope you like this little in-depth about how I program. And if you want to hear more about it and how I calculate the numbers, for example, let me know and I'll make a new video about that. Okay, see you all later again. Take three. Bye. Okay.